Hi, I'm Mr. G, and today I'm going to show you how to put together and install this solar light, 100 watt solar powered LED light. It's a real beaut. Put another shrimp on the body while you're at it, would you? This, however, is not made in Australia. It's made in China, I guess. Doesn't say. This is a solar module Y Q L S. LFW 100 watt. It's YQL solar panel. And this solar panel is going to power the light. The first solar panel I've ever had. I'm pretty pumped about it. I am pretty excited. I'm hoping to power my whole house with this. Actually, um, if I can get a little conversion thing, pack Tesla or something. use different types of batteries. Isn't it amazing how something like batteries became standard all over the world? What if it was like all these different types for like remote, for something simple like remote, whoa! Ooh, well, it's got juice in it apparently. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. So this bracket here is if you're pole mounting it, so I'm not gonna need this, right? Good morning, people. It's another wonderful day here in sunny southwest Virginia. Not quite Florida, but it's a nice day for November. Here we got the fixture. Oh. Top of the morning to ya. It's Mr. G here. Once again. I don't know why I'm doing another intro. This is just a continuation of the video. So, day two. Several hours later. We got two. So, we're going to put the light here in the car. And there's two arrows on the top here too. You can see that. And then there's this, slides over and screws down on it. Keep the connection tight and dry, I guess. Okay. Now we have a flashing red light, which I believe means that it's charging. Red indicator light and mobile in there, and solar panels are letting the person like to do that. And the red indicator light flash is excellent. It's working. Good, 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 good. good.
VIP treatment now. This can go here, and you have it on one bolt, and you can burst it all around. I think one, this thing's not very heavy. One should be plenty sufficient for this thing. I got a lot of big bolts! Yeah, I don't think it's that heavy. And this wood, I had a concern it could have been like a little rotten, but it ain't. Good. I'm under the soffit here. Yeah, this part of the process will definitely be all dependent on
just making these things. Both how you decision, but you know, it's like I'm doing it. Um, this hole. Okay, I'll put it up there, and you know, it's not possible. Sure, I gotta get rid of it. I'm just at this point. I just gotta get this thing slapped up and get on to the other work I gotta do today, and then I will see how it does and reposition it later. You know, I think that we'll get enough sun, hopefully, for what use it gets. Maybe I don't know. I have no idea, but we'll find out. Well, here we are, nighttime, and yeah, it's automatically came on, working fantastic. Let's grab the remote here. Where is the remote at? The light, Junior. The light remote. You had it last. Make sure if y'all ever use it, just keep it here in the basket or something by the door. It's over. I got it now. What? That's fine. They are good. But if Addison wants it that bad, she can have it. Okay, let's go through the remote functions here. Oh, well, that's our regular light. That's so ugly compared to this new thing. So the red button apparently does nothing. On. Turns it on. Off. Turns it off. On. Okay. Don't get crazy button smashing like I just did. Hit it one time, it will work. So here we go, brighter. I think it's already at max, probably. Dimmer. I guess, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I guess I better look it up. I can't tell if it's getting dimmer or not. Oh, that got brighter for sure. <laughs> yeah, that, that got dimmer right there. Hitting the arrows. I don't know. I guess I better get the book on. So, auto. I guess just turn on at night, off during the day. And then, I guess this is delay, probably. Three, five, eight hour delay. Shuts off. Center button is like max, I think. It turns the brightness up. That's it, pretty simple. I wonder, it'd be nice to know how much juice you got left or not, you know? Not the most elegant, eloquent, 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 quint setup, but hey, it works. Redneck. Redneck, uh, Black Lives Matter style. When you're 
jack of all races. Let's see here. So here's the remote again. So the red button force on, force off. What in the heck, man? Why is it not focusing? Full power button. Okay, half power button. Okay, highlight button. Party emergency use when you need to increase the brightness of the lighting on it. For example, previous mirrors are working for one hour. Huh. Brightness increase, brightness reduction. And how do you know? What, what's the scale though? Is there like 10 different? Is there 5? Is there 10? Is there 2? Is there 3? I mean, what's the scale of brightness? I mean, how do you know how? It'd be nice to know. But I don't think it's that complicated. I spent more time reading this book than I thought I would, I'll tell you that. Alright, so that is it for my install, the YQL Solar Floodlight. This one's the 100 watt with the charging solar panel. Very nice. It's like, link below for Amazon. Um, thanks for watching. If you're on Amazon, well, you don't need the link below. If you're on YouTube, you do. Check out my other videos. Make sure and like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Thank you. Until next time, be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes.